Today, more strong government warnings about the spread of COVID-19. Overall, nearly one in five people hospitalized in Minnesota are there because of the coronavirus. The state is at a record high with more than 1,400 people hospitalized with COVID-19. More than 1,100 are non-ICU patients. Nearly 300 people are in intensive care units. In just four hours, new restrictions aimed at slowing the spread of the virus in Minnesota begin. The bars and restaurants are no longer allowed to stay open past 10 p.m. Mariel Moe shows us how some business owners are preparing for this new phase of pandemic restrictions. If we're going to beat this thing, now is the time. Governor Tim Walz says it's time to put more restrictions in place, starting with a 10 p.m. curfew on restaurants and bars. Rob Jones owns Meteor Bar in North Minneapolis. His establishment thrives in the later night hours. But our peak hours, I would say, at that time were probably from 8 to, 8 to 1 in the morning. He believes this 10 p.m. curfew will significantly impact the amount of traffic he sees in his bar. So he's finding creative ways to bring in customers. What we're doing and actually launching next week is more of a uh, tiki style uh, environment uh, with reservations. We're going to open earlier than we were, especially on weekends. Jones is hoping to take people on the vacations they had to cancel this year with tropical themed cocktails. Taking tables now, which we weren't before. Before it was just bar service only. I think a vast majority of restaurateurs owners expected when Governor Waltz to speak that he was just going to shut restaurants down. Um, so to be honest with you, the curfew is a bit of a positive in that regard. Gavin Kaysen owns Spoon and Stable, Demi and Belcor in the North Loop. This curfew limits the amount of reservations they will have available, with the latest one now being 8.30 p.m. in order to close the restaurant by 10. We've got 25 percent less reservations this weekend already compared to the last four weekends, and that's based only on the curfew. Governor Wall said Friday he's monitoring the results of this curfew, prepared to restrict more businesses if needed. There may very well be more changes and mitigation measures that have to be taken if we're seeing where these hotspots are. Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News. The health department will now text people with a positive result before they call them. Stay with WCCO on TV and online for continuing coverage of this story.